I'm changing my oil. Um, I'll do a quick video just showing you guys the process. It's a lot cheaper to just go pay. Like you could go find a place, get your oil changed for like 20 bucks. It ends up costing you at least that much when you do it yourself. Um, I do recommend getting oil at Walmart and also the oil filters. Uh, I wouldn't get the cheapest oil filter at Walmart, like go like a step up. Or if you want, get an expensive oil filter. Like it's all up to you. When you pay more, you get better quality. So here it goes. I'm gonna pull the car up right now and start changing the oil. I'm gonna put these things behind the back wheels. I'm also gonna kick on the e-brake. because this is just a quick little job that happens to, can get a bit dirty so and I don't want to have to stain my hands because sometimes you know the grease doesn't come off for like a day or two but here we go break that loose and then you might be able to just take it out with your hands now you got to be careful with this bolt because what you have here is a steel bolt and an aluminum pan so if you're not careful, you could strip out your aluminum pan, and that is not cheap to fix. This thing catches the oil right here. I have this below, underneath, and I slowly open the... Now when, when you get it all the way off, it's going to suddenly rush out. So, oh, now that's why I was wearing the glove. I should have had a rag with me too. I kind of messed up there because see, this thing's dripping. It's all over my glove and it's dripping. Let this thing drain until it won't drain anymore. It's going to start dripping. Just let it drip as long as you can. Get it, get all that dirty oil out. This oil right here looks pretty dirty. Detergent oil gets dirty very fast. And this particular oil is the oil after the break-in oil. It makes sense on a new engine for the oil to get this dirty. Really, any engine, what am I talking about? I do suggest that you take this plug and wipe it off. So now I need to get off the filter. So, you can lay aluminum foil so that it guides the oil and it doesn't get all over the frame. Most abundant metal on the planet, when you pull this off, it's all going to drain where you want it to go. Yeah, some cars you need to get a tool because it's on too tight. If I need to, I can turn the wheel so I can get more room in here. Oh my god, this fucking aluminum foil. How tight is this thing? I have dirt that's in my fenders from going up into the snow, getting all in my mouth and face. I only got it loose. Okay, get the spoil back in here. Give it a channel to flow in. Get to make sure this is underneath this thing. The catcher. All right. Now when you first pull it, it's gonna flow pretty crazy. You could just leave it. You don't have to pull it all the way out. You can let the initial oil kind of run out first. A good place to put the old filter is in this box for the new filter. So what I'm gonna do is pull this filter all the way off now. It's very slippery. It's off now. So now you turn it upside down and all the oil flows out. 
Oh no, the aluminum's gone, and now, oh, jeez. What a waste. And just wait for all that oil to drain out. Once it's done dripping, you can put on the new filter. Just gonna let it drip. Mike, as you can see from the oil plug, it's just barely dripping. But since I just pulled off the oil filter, it's just like, you know, it's flowing. Come back in like 10 minutes and see if it's, you know, pretty much done dripping and then pop on the new oil filter. It's done dripping, so I'm gonna pop this thing on. When people say Fram isn't great, but one thing I like about these Frams is they have like a grip right here. That really helps. <laughs> And I'm going to wipe off where I spilt this grease. You put oil or grease on the, on the gasket? No, but it's there. I can see it. Yeah. It's like all around it because I just got, got it everywhere. The only reason you do that is so when you go to take it off, it's not stuck. Well, I only put it on hand tight too. Yeah. So I never, yeah, it's, it's so greasy up there. It's, there's, it's definitely on it. All right. I wonder if I should just let this drip. It's still dripping. No, because it'll drip forever. This is where you need to be careful. You really want to make sure that you don't strip out this pan, so you need your you need your threads to line up. So I screw it in all the way with your hand as far as you can before you uh, tighten it with the ratchet. So now I take the ratchet and tighten it. Remember, righty tighty, lefty loosey. I got to take this. And I gotta dump it into a container so that I can take it and properly dispose of it. I believe you can take it to like Walmart or like some kind of auto parts place like Pep Boys, the dealership. Um, but oil must be properly disposed of. You find yourself an empty container like this. You take your oil and dump it in. Oh wait, first, of course I need a funnel. Pop that on there, and then you start pouring. And only two quarts came out. A leak. Um, let's look at where I park my car. Of course, um, unfortunately, it's been raining. But this is usually where my car is, and there is spots on the ground. But I do not see two quarts of oil here. While I'm here, I decided to. Change the transmission fluid. It's also aluminum with a steel bolt in it, so again, you're gonna want to be careful. It's right here. Now this one comes out easy. All right, there goes the fluid. Oh, and look at this. Now see, your transmission plug, it has a magnet. Now I totally recommend you doing this yourself because places will charge $200 for this and all for a Honda there isn't even a filter all you do is drain out the fluid but see all that metal see the magnet that's all metal shavings off the gears and stuff in there so that's a bad sign that means my transmission is wearing out clean off that plug get all those shavings off and then uh, when it's done draining you can pop the plug back in now with the transmission even more than the oil, it's very crucial that you get the right amount of fluid in there for the transmission to operate correctly. All right, so when that's done draining, I can pop in the plug. See now, when, like, pop open this hood and put some new fluids in. All right, so all the plugs are on. You're very careful not to strip your aluminum pan. We got Honda transmission fluid, because it's important to use Honda transmission fluid when you have a Honda. And then I got this from Costco. Now it's not the exact oil, it says, but this is what they had at Costco, this is the closest thing. And that's fine. Um, this could lower my gas mileage a little bit because what my car requires is 520. And this is 1030. But that heavier oil is actually, my car is gonna like it. And this is the hardest part. The plug is down here. So you're going to need, and it could be tight, so you're going to need a heavy, this is a three quarter inch, I believe. It's 
nice and thick and heavy. See, the problem is if you have a real, like a thinner extension, it's going to twist and it's going to make it really hard to get off. You're also going to need a funnel like this to reach down there. I called the workroom. They said, yeah, drinks are ready. I said, okay, I'll be by this afternoon to pick them up. So I go there and pick them up. They're not ready. I've got most of the fluid in. I'm just gonna check the transmission fluid levels and the oil levels before I put in the last little bit to make sure that I'm not putting in too much. Get out, wipe it clean, pop it back in, there we go. Man, nice pretty pink, but it's not all the way up. And there, it actually shows on the bottle. So I'm gonna put 400 milliliters, that should be good. The way the transmission works, you gotta drive the car, get it in the different gears to get the fluid to spread throughout the transmission and then you check it. It also needs to be warm when you check the fluid level. Did you guys see me accidentally pour a little transmission fluid in the oil? <laughs> so dumb. All right, it looks like the transmission still needs more fluid, but it's not hot yet, so I'm gonna drive it a little bit and check again. I'm gonna put this transmission plug back on. This is all the used transmission and oil, and right on time too, because it's starting to get real windy. I'm gonna check the transmission fluid again after that and make sure there's the right, right amount, and then I'm done. just starting to rain right when I finished. Do I have a guardian angel or what? Like it waited for me to finish to start raining? What? It started raining right when I finished. It's so 